I love my TTCO board. What? Let me explain. So every time you make a home automation system, it may be using Wi-Fi which is connected to Wi-Fi router that controls over internet but Wi-Fi go down lot of time. Or maybe using Bluetooth but using the local internet network only. But what if I tell you, you can control your home appliances over internet without having any Wi-Fi router using cellular data pack of your SIM card. And that's what TTCO does for us. So in this video, we're going to take a home automation system, home automation project uh, to a new dimension which you must not have experienced till now. So let's get started. Before I take you to this journey, I would like to insist you to hear and uh, have a look over to one very interesting and very, very useful feature provided by our sponsors. So let's have a look over that video and I bet you love that particular feature. Over to our sponsors. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now let me tell you one very interesting, very unique feature about this software which I bet you haven't seen in any other PCB designing software and that feature is called as follow me mode. Now this is truly very useful feature which I can't explain it in simple words, rather let me show you the actual video of this particular feature. Have you seen that? The path automatically adapts the curve quite seamlessly. And now I can imagine making this kind of path in any other PCB designing software would be really a tedious task for sure. Now you can also try this and many other features of this PCB designing software by just clicking on the link mentioned in the description. Yes, by clicking on that link, you'll be getting a free trial version of LTM designer software. So go ahead, try it out and if you find it interesting, you can purchase this software later on. So after that lovely sponsorship ad, let me start with today's agenda. So the main component that we are going to use for our project is this TTCO T-Call model, which I think the best board in current times, much better than the Raspberry Pi Pico, of course. Bonk. So if, you, if you're not familiar with this TTCO T-Call module, I'll insist you to watch out a really very detailed introduction video, which I made, which is uploaded onto my channel, whose link is in the description as well as the i button. And go watch it out if you haven't. And if you don't want to watch it out and if you want the review of this board in single line then it can be regarded as this is an ESP32 based board along with GSM connectivity uh, for you know a cellular data connectivity using which we are going to make a today's project so that's a single line review of it so now let's quickly have a look about what else we need other than this t-call board so other than this board you'll also require a couple of relay modules and also a couple of manual switches hey wait did I mention that this project can be controlled with the help of those manual switches along with the real-time feedback? Yes, that's the feature provided in this particular project, so we'll need a couple of switches as well. After getting all the components, you have to connect them all according to this circuit diagram. So for the hardware, what I did is I just shouldered all the male and female header pins on a general purpose PCB and after that I made all the electrical connections with the relays and the switches and the project looks something like this. So that is all about the hardware part of the project. Now let's jump on to the coding part. Now before I start explaining the code, the prerequisite are your Arduino ID should have ESP32 board packages already installed. Uh, your Arduino has the Blink library already installed and your Arduino should also have the tiny GSM library already installed. So these three steps are kind of a prerequisite before uploading this code, okay? So now let me guide you with what changes you need to make inside the code to make it run on your side as well. So first of all, here all the pins are declared for all the switches and the relays. So in case you are following the exact same connection diagram which I have shown previously, you don't need to change anything here but in case you are using any other pins you better make the changes here straight after that here you need to provide the APN of your network provider in my case I'm using the Vodafone sim card whose APN is www you can search for the APN of your network provider on Google and you will easily find that but make sure whatever network you are using which your sim card you are using they uh, should uh, the network provider should provide the 2G bands because this module is a 2G module and it works with only 2G bands for example if in case you are using the Geo sim card that won't work because Geo doesn't provide 2G bands for the users okay so make sure your network provider have the 2G bands straight after that here you need to provide the authentication token of your Blink project. Now what I think if you're watching this video, if you're making the home automation project using TTCO board, you must be familiar with the Blink uh, application, okay? So I won't be explaining all the steps to create a Blink project, you better must be knowing, okay? But what I'll guide you is uh, what necessary changes you need to make in that inside the Blink project. So first of all, while making the project, you better select the connectivity type as GSM, not Wi-Fi, not Bluetooth, but GSM. 
and inside the blink project just add four switches uh, and uh, that the data of the switches will be sent to virtual plane v1 v2 v3 and v4 okay so that's pretty much it about the blink project and after that you just need to provide the authentication token here inside the code and that's it this is all about the changes that you need to make inside the code after that the select the board as esp32 rover module okay this is the board you have to select after that just select the right port and straight away hit the upload button Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded. I'll open up the serial monitor and press the reset button on the board. Now you have to be patient uh, while using TTCO call board because uh, getting connectivity for GSM model for cellular data connectivity takes a bit more second than uh, getting connected with the Wi-Fi network, okay? So you have to wait for the, that particular time. Okay, so it is uh, saying that it is connecting to the network. Uh, let's see. Okay, it found the network which is Hajj Gujarat, which is basically Vodafone. It's connected to the GPRS and it also connected to the Blink. And as you can see, our project, our program has started running onto this particular board. So what I'll do, I'll straight away uh, insert this particular board onto our PCB. Let's have a look over this project in action. So as you can see, we are able to control the appliances using the Blink application and also with the help of manual switches along with its real-time feedback on the smartphone. And this is working over cellular networks so you can control it from any corner of the world without worrying about any Wi-Fi router. Superb, right? So now what you all have learned from this video, rather where this project will be useful. So imagine one scenario that you are uh, given a task to control a water motor in a big farm, okay? So now in such large farms, getting a Wi-Fi connectivity is a big issue because Wi-Fi has some limited range. In those remote areas, in those remote location where you want to control such a uh, particular thing over internet, this project is a perfect fit, okay? So this is just one example of how this GSM control appliances project will be useful. There are a couple of more such areas, more such uh, projects where uh, this particular project is a perfect fit. Let me know what you think, like after watching this video, what thoughts are coming in your mind where this project seems to be a perfect fit? Let me know your thoughts in the comments of the video. The comment section is just for your thoughts and your ideas. So share your ideas and uh, maybe I can land up with making the project on my YouTube channel. So that's the power of a community. You share the knowledge, I share the knowledge and we all you know, grow together. And do you know using this particular board, we can interact with our appliances in a couple of other manners as well. No, I'm not talking about the traditional Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but you can control or communicate with your appliances, interact with your appliances using SMS, using a phone call. And yes, that's possible using this TTCO T call module. Should I make any video on that? It's totally up to you. The majority of people, if majority of people want me to make those projects on my channel, I'll definitely make for you. So it's totally up to you. Let me know your thoughts, your suggestions, your feedback into the comment section of this video. And that's about this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like this particular video. And if you're watching this for the first time, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I usually come up with these and many kind of interesting projects every Sunday. That being said, ending this video here and now, just wait for my next video in the next floor, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.